Imagine if you live life like one adventure after another, where time was more important than just checking off another item on your to-do list. Well, joining me is someone who lives by that philosophy, Mary Ann Novotny, who is our Global Volunteer of the Month. Good morning. Good morning. So nice to have you. Glad to be here. We should mention that Mary Ann is a teacher at Randolph Heights, Randolph Heights Elementary, Elementary School, second grade. Second grade. All right. Now, tell us about you have a special bond with a student, uh, who, a former student who lives back in Ghana. When I was teaching second grade to Matt Yakiko, he started saying, as I told the students I was going to Ghana, that he had family there. And I thought this was just a student wanting to make conversation. And then his family um, sent him there the end of May that year. And when I was there that summer, my co-teacher Ike said, I can get you to Bujiborum, which is the refugee camp where Liberians are. We have a picture of the two of you. <laughs> reunited. Mm -hmm. This mm -hmm. was not easy tracking him down, was it? No. That picture is when they came to visit me and he got to be by the ocean at last. It's not, uh, the setting is not on the ocean. When we got off the bus, the uh, nice lady that decided to help us was a nurse in camp and she said it'll be impossible. That's in their home. It would be impossible to find someone. You don't have a number. But I brought along the school picture of Matt and I and I said he liked bikes, and he had told me how you could borrow bikes there, like you can borrow uh, library books here. Uh -huh. So we went to a bike place, and pretty soon everybody in the little village was helping us, and we were stepping across these open channels of water and whatnot, and under closed lines, and we finally found them. One of the reasons you traveled to Ghana was because of the history uh, in, with slavery there. I wanted to see the slave castles. Global Volunteers has teams going to Tanzania where you could do um, an animal safari kind of thing on the weekend. Or if you go to Ghana, you could go to the slave castles. And my own family is mixed race, and I teach about the Civil War and slavery and I really wanted to see the slave castles so and you our could team bring that back go. to your mm -hmm. students as mm -hmm. well yep yeah so I have a whole poster with pictures and stories I tell them of, of what that was like well you have traveled all or, over the globe and I can barely so touch on all the places that you volunteer but one of the places uh, was in Vietnam you were there in in 2000 that and was wonderful. tell us what your project was there and some of the uh, people that you met along the way uh, Tui whose name means snow, interestingly enough, was the co-teacher. And we became close friends. And she took me to her Buddhist temple. And um, there were people on the team who parents had uh, left Vietnam. And we went with them and met some friends of their family that are still there. We went into a little hut where people came with a black and white picture. And they had a wedding picture of these fellow team members, mom and dad, that they'd never seen. I really? was there in Vietnam. But I went back, uh, I you think, teaching probably, the students. Teaching the students. And the last night, I think I told them why I had come. It was to say I was sorry and to thank them for my daughter. My children are all adopted, and my youngest is from Vietnam. And I think that was really the reason I felt drawn to go there. Bring back some pictures. Okay. Would you?